Hello there, Quicksilver Slash, and today I've got a follow-up video from yesterday's on how to enable training battles, and that is how to set them up and run them. And what a lot of people want to do is set up a battle where you play against one or many bots, just practice shooting angles and seeing where you can get penetrations. So right here, say I want a three-on-three -three game. I'm gonna make it on Ocean, Domination, and I'll create it. Now to set up your bots, if you click this arrow, it auto fills the game with bots. And I think that's probably what a lot of people are doing is they're pushing this. So I'm just gonna remove these guys. To pick and choose what bots you want where, you go down, obviously just select them out. In this case, the individual wanted to add a Fuso. So if you have it set up like this, without active or armed, they're gonna be stationary. If you click active, they're now gonna move around. If you click armed, they'll shoot at things both, well, they'll move and shoot. But say you just want a dumb target to practice some angles on, you then drag this to the various teams you want it on. So now I've put a Fuso on that team. I can put one on this team. Say I want a Mayhand that runs around shooting on my team as well. I can do that. And I'll put another two on the others. And now, start battle. Should load in, and everything should be set up as I want it. And I think the little mistake a lot of people make trying to do this, and I should have explained it in yesterday's video, is they're just clicking that dump arrow, and that just auto-fills any remaining spots with bots. So if you have a 10 on 10 game, and you've got, say, six people aside that are human players, and you just want to round the teams out, you can click that, and it guesses at what would make a fair match, and fills in the rest of the team. But that's not really what you want. As you can see though, I put a Fuso on each team, they've got a pair of my hands, and I do too. So I'm going to jump in, and if everything goes as to plan, the May hands should be active, and they should shoot. Whereas that enemy Fuso should just sit at spawn, and I'm just going to charge right through, and try to hopefully prove that point. So I'll cut the video right here, and jump to where I find that enemy Fuso. Well, I'm having to fight my way for an angry mayhem who, as said, was engaged, fighting me, does a pretty junk job because it's still a bot, but there's the enemy Fuso still sitting in cab because I never made it active. So it all depends on what you want to be fighting as to what you choose. I hope this clarifies some things for people. If anyone has any more questions regarding these training rooms, I'd be happy to answer them even make a short tutorial bit on them as well. As always, I'm Quicksilver Slash and I'll have another one for you guys later.